My dad used to tell me, um, you, you got to have money to make money type of thing, right? So you're going to need some capital to start. So it depends on how much money you do have. So if you're talking like you got $1,000 and you want to make that 2000 10000 20000 and it's possible. Uh, it depends on what you're good at, right? So it, it's there's not like a magical equation in making money, right? Yeah. Exactly. So, tell, tell me, how about this? Let me ask you guys. What are you guys good at? Dick jokes. Uh, <laughs> dick jokes. <laughs> dick jokes. Okay. I don't know how we're going to monetize dick jokes. <laughs> let's, let's, let's think of... Pragmatism here, practical skills. What do you guys uh, have? Creativity. We're all creative, I guess. Creative. Yeah, you guys are very creative. I think you guys are all very creative. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, 90 says, sitting on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> here's, why, here's why you can't make money doing that. Porno, um, one more question I want to ask you, too. Uh, I think, I could be wrong, but last year, I remember you had some kind of gaming thing going on. And uh, I don't know if that's still going on, but I wanted to ask you about that. Like, do you still do streaming or anything, or was that even you? Am I thinking of the wrong guy? Or no, I used to do streaming stuff. It was pretty decent money. Uh, yeah, man. Like, uh, I mean, do you still do I, mean, that kind I used of stuff? to make more money playing online poker and selling gold in World of Warcraft. But, oh shit! Uh, yeah, I was making over two grand a month doing that. God uh, damn! Uh, selling gold online. Chris, so what was you? Was like a three D modeler or what? Uh, no, uh, just a game master, which is Blizzard's way of saying customer support. My resume was literally all the video games I've beaten, and I listed over 200 of them. And I could type 70 words a minute, and I had, and at the time I had three level 70 characters. And less than an hour later, I got a call back saying I was hired. Oh, holy shit, man. That's actually really, really cool. Uh, for me, for, to unlock every single thing in the game for Final Fantasy X... Uh, I was selling, you know, those the memory cards that PlayStation 2 used to have. I was yeah. selling them on eBay and copying them for a hundred bucks a piece because it was over 215 hours of game time played, where all the mini games were like a hundred wins and zero losses, and each character was so powerful that they could kill the final boss in the game literally with just one attack and everything. And people just wanted to experience that. All the hidden bosses. Everything wasn't covered. So basically, you're like your own personal game shark. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I really was. Just one more question. He said $10,000 in your pocket. What would you do? I'd reinvest it. But I'd take 1000 and go have some fun with it. But I'd take the 9000 and reinvest it. Um, I make a lot of money on the stock market. That's just something oh. I'm good at. I'm good with numbers. I'm good with trading. Uh, it's something I've done for like 10 years now. Uh, I did it ever since I was like 20. Oh. Depends on what you guys are good at, right? If you guys want to invest in a company that can bring you back money, say that you, you really are passionate about some, some business, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You got some idea about making a product and you can sell it online and you want to mm -hmm. invest that money into that, that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm not going to tell you to do that any differently. It's just that my strength lies in forecasting, it lies in sales, it lies in stocks, it lies in looking at data, and then for everybody else, everybody else has different different strengths, different weaknesses. So, so 90 said, he was like, so the stock market is good, right? But he was saying, like, isn't the stock market kind of like gambling? Like, you would probably have better chance just playing the lottery. Like, it's a rich, rich man's game. Uh, well, you don't have a better chance playing the lottery. That's, yeah. you know, they call it the poor man's tax, right? It's the, yeah. it's the reverse poor tax. I mean, I, but like everybody plays the lottery, right? You, I'm sure everybody here uh, listening online probably bought a Powerball ticket tonight, right? Fuck no. I did. I didn't. Two dollars, right? I'm not old right? enough. <laughs> how, wait, how old do you have to be to buy, or buy a lottery ticket? 21, right? So you said uh, stock market, right? Yeah. So what's your um your opinion and points on penny stocks? Are they good or are they bad? Are they good? Though if you have the too? time for it, then it's good. Um, this is the other thing, too, is you guys aren't going to have all the time in the world, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm assuming everybody here has a job. Yeah. I would hope. Not me. <laughs> Not me right now. <laughs> well, how old, wait, how old are you, uh, yeah, man? I'm um, 20 what? right now, but I just filled out, like, some applications, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a you job You guys are right young now. still. You yeah. guys are young still to enter the workforce yet, but most of you guys should have a job. So there's, you know, there's that old econo economics thing called opportunity cost. So it depends on how much time it takes for you to do those things and whether it's worth it or not, right? 
So your your yeah. question about penny stocks, is it worth it for you to take all that time, or is it worth it for you to just go get a job and make X dollars amount an hour, right? Yeah, like the trade-off. Like, which one has a better mm -hmm. trade-off? That's exactly right. And, you know, I, I guess when I say these things, right, guys, like, and I get this question a lot from people, who, like, they like to think I'm a, I'm a successful person. I'm not anywhere near as successful as a lot of people, right? But I think it just requires you guys to, to really step back and take a look at what I was saying was what you guys are good at. So if you guys are good at speaking, then I would really suggest you maybe take a look at some sort of sales job. Not like retail, but I'm talking like a commission-based sales job. If you feel like you're good at talking to people. We're talking with creative people, right? If you're creative, just produce the hell out of something, right? Yeah. And eventually you would hope that you can hopefully make a living off of that. <laughs>